at the beach, we still have a high risk of rip currents and yeah. some high surf as well. So just be aware of that. But I mean, other than that, the forecast isn't looking that bad across central Florida. We're starting to uh, trend on the drier side. Just a couple of showers along our coast throughout the day today. Going to our northwestern locations, we are mostly clear, except we are seeing some fog trying to develop. Here's a look outside right now in Ocala. That fog not quite making it to the surface yet. And when we look at our visibilities, visibilities are actually not that bad at the moment. They're about four miles, not quite thick or dense yet, but we'll continue to watch that throughout the morning hours. But for now, a four mile visibility in Ocala, about a four and a half mile visibility in Wildwood, three miles in Leesburg. High pressures in control up to our north. With that, it's going to keep us dry throughout much of the day, although we will have what we call a counterclockwise wind. So we'll have winds out of the northeast around 15 to 20 miles per hour. That may bring in one or two isolated showers this morning and this afternoon, but those winds really pick up as we go throughout the afternoon hours. Right now, though, first warning radar just seeing a couple of showers making their approach to Ormond Beach, Flagler Beach, pushing through interior Flagler County. That's why we have a 10% chance of rainfall this morning and then going into the afternoon, early evening, up to a 20% coverage favoring our East Coast locations into the later portions of the day. Temperatures get you outside 70 degrees in Orlando, 68 degrees in Deland. It's also 68 in Leesburg, 69 degrees in Wildwood, 73 at the moment in Daytona Beach and Titusville, and it's 76 degrees in Melbourne. Now today with that onshore wind, our coastline reaches the low 80s, inland spots warmer into the mid 80s. And because those winds pick up around 15 to 20 miles per hour, that's something that we're going to have to watch for that Falcon 9 Starlink launch tonight at 652, 80% favorable weather conditions and also watching the booster recovery recovery weather that is at a low to moderate tomorrow afternoon. Once again, we're in the low and mid 80s with a few isolated showers, breezy conditions as well. Looking ahead to Thursday, winds slowly begin to subside. Temperatures reach around 84 and we continue the mid 80s all week long. A few isolated showers on Saturday. Other than that, it's going to be a dry weekend ahead. And then Monday we drop down to 82 degrees.